Hey friends, Jessica here with Creators Couture and I am back with some new tutorials. So I'm super excited to be back. We have got a really fun two-parter today and I'm gonna start by making some soft and romantic flowers. I've got new brushes um, for members, some new color palettes. And of course, um, if you're not a member, you can use whatever brushes you have in the arsenal and take these ideas and make them your own. And then in the second part, we're gonna take these soft flowers and make an abstract composition with a little bit of a um, sort of a frosted effect. So I really had fun doing some variations on this theme. We're going to use some brushes from my marble collection, some of my new brushes, uh, a couple whisper thin brushes, and I'm going to show you some of my secrets. So on this first part, I am going to show you um, how easy it is we can make some really nice soft little um, flowers here. So I was wanting to make some really delicate soft flowers and is so often the case I always love making new brushes um, to suit the needs of my project. So for this one um, I actually started off with some color palettes and what I did was I used my um, my technique that many of you guys know is I will sample directly from images. So I took an image that had some a, a floral arrangement that I really liked and I sampled the colors. I kind of bumped up the color intensity. I always adjust it a little bit so that it will turn out really nice. But I sampled all kinds of little palettes from this imagery. And if you guys um, uh, are not familiar with the technique, just check the link down below. I've got the foundation tutorial. So you can do this yourself with any image. And so um, for the members, I'll go ahead and um, give you these palettes here that I already sampled and did all the work for you. And then what I did was I created some new brushes that were inspired by floral. So it was about wanting to make these kind of soft, delicate shapes. So here's um, the 10 new brushes that I am releasing now for members. And there's a few different variations. I wanted some kind of stippling brushes, um, which were the first few ones, some different variations on that to create kind of some of the inside of the flowers and the accents. And then I have some that are really great for the petals. So I can show you guys all those brushes in action. But first of all, so what we're going to do on this first video is just show you how we can make a, a flower like this really quick. Here's the first one I made. I made another one here. Now I did a bad in that I actually merged all my layers on the first one that I did. And so that was annoying because I always try to work non-destructively so that um, especially uh, if you're uh, a subscriber, you can have all my uh, tutorial assets. So you can check out the layers for yourself and, you know, kind of dig in. But I drew another flower here and we've got all the layers going. So let's just get right into it and let's go to my demo here. Let's go window arrange to a vertical okay we want to put this over here i always like my reference over here so in this video in this tutorial we're going to be doing the flower and then in the second part of the tutorial then we'll be putting it into a composition and creating this nice sort of like dreamy luscious abstract sort of thing so let's get into it here and then of course here just for reference i put some of the color palettes and the color blends from that floral just to give you a little uh, visual so here's the one that I made here and I'll just peel back the layers to kind of show you what's up so let's just look what we did here so what I started off with was actually for the back I had this really sudden, um, soft and fuzzy sort of effect and what I did was I used the whisper thin brushes um, that I just released I actually just used one of them whisper thin brush number two and I love just creating, when I'm doing abstract, I love creating just something that's like, like I want, I, I lean into the abstract. It's like, this is a flower, this is abstract. Of course, I'm. this is not a representational flower. This is the idea, this is an abstraction. And I just love having fun with that. So that's um, Whisper Thin brush number two. And then I used my new brush number nine to kind of create some bits in the center. And then brush number seven to create some more, you know, accents. And then brush number one. And then we kind of did the front of the flower. So we kind of wanted to have that darker in the center. 
I used brush number nine again for this, you know, this front bit. And then we added some little um, accents here with brush number four. And then a little bit of brush number 10 here in the middle. But let's just, um, we will make another one and just have a little fun with this sort of formula. But the thing is, is it's just all about playing, having fun with layering. Um, don't worry about making it, you know, just look like mine. This is just a, for me, it's a simple shape. So I just kind of go with it. So of course we're getting our pattern stamp tool. I'm gonna grab one of the sampled images here. So I'm just gonna grab this one. And I am starting off with, um, actually before I just dive into that, I'll just kind of show you some of the, these um, brushes here so you can get an idea of the, um, how they look. So this is, and of course they're using the multicolor um, method. So all of your colors will come out of there really um, beautifully. And these ones are a bit monochromatic. So let me just try to find one that's got a little bit of color variation here. I could do like this. Um, well, it's got a little dark in there, but anyway, you know, you'll have all the colors coming out of there, all the multicolors. And where is my, okay, well, we'll just go back here. So we've got brush, we've got these little sort of accents and these are great for kind of like that, for the center of the flowers. I just, um, just wanted to make some new new brushes and they really served my purpose uh, this kind of a soft loose sort of effect so i really had fun with that um number five here i really liked it's got this like soft sort of you know vibe going on and then in the six through ten <clears throat> we've got some that are like kind of really good for petals and center so six is like a little bit less um what do you call it less compact it's a little bit more spaced out and let's just get here so or there's six is well that's a little bit closer together and of course uh, these are pressure sensitive so you know you can have fun like layer these up a little bit grab some different colors let's grab brush number seven and kind of you know just get those really cool sort of feathery strokes now eight nine and ten were some of my favorite i love how kind of soft and luscious that turned out um these brush strokes hold on let me get something here now these this the images that i sampled is a bit monochromatic so you're not going to see all of the beautiful color um going out so much here with these uh little palettes that i made here this is a bit better you can see all that gorgeous color blending but it's got a really nice pressure sensitivity really nice transparency which i think was really fun and then nine and ten i i really liked i wanted something just like almost like fluffy and soft and i thought that was just really fun for petals so you know i always make any excuse to make a new brush so let's just zoom out here uh, let's see. This is fine. Go to like 50%. So let us start with, um, I did start with the Whisper Thin brush number two. And let's see here. So we can make this one a little bit different. So I kind of just trying to decide how zoomed in I want to go here, but I think I will zoom in just so you can see all the pretty details. So let's just kind of make that back here and i want it to be really soft so let me use like a really soft pressure sensitivity here and i'm not going to worry that it's perfect i'm just kind of mimicking what i did here and then if we zoom in you know we can see that nice those details of that brush you see how fine they are okay let's put her on 50 percent i think that's pretty good or do we want to be 67 okay so we've got that like kind of back and now let's just make a new layer and i could even look at the ones that i did so then i'll grab like brush number nine so let's go down here and of my new brushes this is brush number nine and so i'll put some dark pink in the center and here you can see we've got that luscious sort of effect and even you know like i put some darker pink down now i could just grab some lighter pink and kind of 
add that in and I love that sort of soft sort of effect that's going on there so that's pretty we're we're vibing with that okay and then we put on brush number seven so I'm just going to follow the same formula that I did all right on below so let's make a new layer it's always good to have new layers and work non-destructively uh, so there we've got those little nice little center bits so, you know, I'm just, just, I'll just like play around and grab some different color palettes. But what I like is because I have sampled this from an image of like real flowers. I know that these colors are all going to look to get like great together, but what's fun is I could play around and just, you know, play around with that sort of, um, I don't know, get more creative with it. So I think that's really fun. All right, so we're happy with that. That's brush number seven, and then we'll add a little brush number one. So let's make a new layer. And I think actually I want to put just a little bit darker back again. So I'm going to go back to brush number 10, and I will add like a little bit of a darker pink here because I want to make sure I get that dark feeling in the center. Okay, so we're happy there. And then let's make a new layer and add some little accents. So let's see here, let's just grab from here. Mm, I don't like that color so much. Maybe some lighter pink. You know, just kind of playing around with a little bit of uh, accents stippling there. Okay, so that's number one. And then now we're gonna do the front here. So, and maybe even I'll go for a really light pink and add just Hello, uh, like here, it should be quite light. Maybe I just got, anyway, it doesn't have to be perfect. Also, I could just change it up, grab brush number two. That's kind of fun. You know, there's no right or wrong answer anyway. So let's make a new one and let's go back to brush number nine. And now we're gonna do that foreground. So I think I will stick to that. Oh, look how pretty and soft that, um, that sort of uh, petal is there. I think it's it just, that's exactly kind of what, it, what I wanted to do with this brush is give it that sort of like soft and romantic look. And so that's why I think that these brushes are really, um, inch, like really nice <clears throat> and something a bit different. So we can have some fun with that. And yeah, so can just play around but we're kind of wanting to get that foreground background sort of situation going on um there we go and what did i grab so that's nine and then i used brush number four let's see where i want to see what i did over here oh, a little bit of the thing and then brush number 10 in the center okay so we kind of put some accents here and maybe this one isn't quite as, let's see, or, um, defined, but whatever. You get the idea. Let's get the lightest bit. Let's get like, oh, maybe brush number four. Could do number one. Anyway, I like these just like really artistic sort of accents here. And that's too dark. Oh, that one's, I keep grabbing like, mm, like even though it's a mainly a light area, sometimes when it comes out, then it will be dark, you know, because there's a little bit of dark in there. Anyway, it's fine. Good enough. But the cool thing is, is that you guys will have all of the, oh, for my subscribers, you can have all my demo files and you can use the flowers that I made in even in your items for sale. So you can have a little fun with that. And then let's just finish this up with a little accent of brush number 10 in the center so let's grab brush number 10 and let's add a little bit just some nice pretty accents i think that's pretty so is it realistic no but is it soft and pretty yes especially that i think brush number nine is quite my favorite uh, nine and ten are both really nice so now you could take this abstract flower and put it as part of your um you know, your composition and stuff and just have fun. Um, and this will serve as the base of our next part of our tutorial. So I will get into that 
but this one let's see here so we have all these different variations of it i'm kind of partial to this version and so i just it's very abstract it's very um you know not realistic but i just had a lot of fun kind of building up these layers and also i really liked creating this sort of frosted effect and putting like a, a layer of cream over part of it and it just really made a really nice effect so just stick around check out part two of the video where we will take the flowers and we will take some of my marble metamorphoses brushes that's the main ones that i'm using here and we will create this abstract composition and using the same color palettes that i already created so make sure that you like and subscribe and check out the next video